hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i'll be showing us how to download and install postgis on our windows computer so the first thing we want to do is to come to this url which i'll put in the description below and select the os of our choice in this case i'm on windows so i'll be selecting windows 64 bit and i'll be selecting the latest version 3.13.1 uh, so should in case you want to download uh, another version just scroll down to select the one you want to download so let me click this now the download should begin shortly although i have it on my system already so i'll just pause this download and use the one i have here so i'm gonna double click on this Okay, I'm going to hit yes. Can okay, minimize this. Okay, so the installation wizard should come up shortly. All right, here we go. So I'm going to hit um, next. I'll leave this as default and hit next. So ensure these are checked because you're going to use this like for example the pg admin to manage the database the stack builder to install postgres is very important and the command line tools to use tools such as psql or start to pgsql and um, others so it's next again or it's next so this is very important ensure you type in a password that you always remember so in this case i'm typing mine i'm going to make it short so i won't forget And I'm going to hit next. We're gonna use this again. We're gonna use this almost every time I want to access the database. So ensure you use the password you can always remember. So I should in case it's very long, you can always copy it somewhere and save it because this is the super user password. So it's next. I have uh okay, this is the port. I'm gonna change this to 5433 because I have another server running 5432. So you can always change this to 5432 or 5433. So I'll wait next now. I'll leave this as default. Okay. So I think everything is fine now. So I'm gonna hit next to begin the setup. So the installation has begun. I, I would um, go grab a cup of coffee and um, pause the recording because it's gonna take a while. Then I'll resume the recording and continue from from here when um, when it's done. So the installation is completed. Let's it's on it's finish. I, I showed this a check because this is what we are going to use to install postgres. So it's fin so we are gonna select this port 5433. That was when we installed PostgreSQL on and hit the next button. Postgres is the special extension to PostgreSQL, so expand this special extension and check this Postgres 3.1 bundle for Postgres 13 to, to download it. So it's next. I'll just leave this as default and it's next. The setup is going to download Postgres on the on our machine. So you can wait a bit for it to launch the download wizard. Okay, it's downloading it already. So this is going to be downloaded in this download directory that's under program files under postgresql um, inside postgresql folder perfect so if you feel like you can skip this installation or you can just hit next to complete it so if you skip it it's going to be in this directory where it's, it's downloaded program files 
Bruce gets killed. And here it is. So you can always come back here to launch it. Should it kill you, skip the installation. But I'm just going to leave it and you know just finish everything out. Okay, so this is the installation wizard. Uh, you can read this through and agree. And then you can yeah, you can leave you can decide to create a database if you feel like, but I'll just leave this as default. I'll do that one uh, when we launch uh postages. It's next. It's next again. It's just a, a, an extension, so it shouldn't take up to a minute. Yeah, it's the ETS. Yes. Yes and yes. So it's completed. You can close this and it's finished. Now let's launch our post just to see. So we're gonna use the PG admin which we installed when we were installing the postgres so launch the pg admin it's a web based so it's going to open in your browser and it's going to give us like a very nice GUI to manage our database okay it's coming up so the password we used earlier remember that's what we're going to use to unlock this so I'm going to input mine now and it's okay. Expand this server and okay, input it again. So this is it here. Perfect. We can customize our database. For example, let me go to this tools. Um, should be somewhere here. Okay, properties. Okay, properties one. Um, fine. Okay, preferences. I want to change this to black because I think I like it. I'm going to go to teams. This is teams right here and select dark and hit save so it's going to ask me to refresh i'm going to refresh this and reload it yeah this is what i like so we have our database here you can create a new server it's just as easy as right clicking on this and going to server or we can also create a new database this is the default that comes with postgres you can right click on this it will create database so it's very easy just type in the name of the database you want to create let's say test then it's save it's just as easy as that and after some seconds it's going to create it for us and it's going to add it to the database list So we have it here. So let's expand Postgres and let's finalize the Postgres installation. So if you expand this extension, we should see Postgres, but it's not here because we haven't um, installed it. So to install it, you can just right click on this and create extension. Then we search it this, select an item, and we search for Postgres. So this is it. So we can also select as many extensions as we like, as we want. Um, we have topology, second geocoder, we have postgres raster. So let's just uh, hit postgres and hit save. So when we save this, it's going to add the extension here. Perfect. Another way to do this is to right click on this and hit the query tool. And we can just type this, create, create extension. Postgres is as easy as that and run this too. Okay, create, sir. <laughs> That's a typo. So you see, extension Postgres already exists. So in case you don't have this here, it's going to create it for us and try a success message. So let's expand this schema so we can confirm that this has truly been created so expand table okay perfect so we have our special reference system here so we can always right click on this to view um this is the first hundred rows perfect so this is the special reference system so process is successfully installed and that way we can also confirm is to check these functions to see the list of available functions we can perform with postgres so you see st ST within so all most of postgres functions are um, prepared with 
ST which means um, spatial temporal so we have 695 functions now that's very interesting so with this now we can connect this to let's say QGIS for example um, GeoServer for example or even um, MapServer and, and the likes so that'll be all for now thank you very much for sticking around I hope you were able to install this successfully on your on your Windows computer. And to the case you, you couldn't, please you can let me know in the comment section. I'll, I'll be happy to help. If you feel this video is very helpful to you, please kindly hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And see you next time. Bye.